Welcome to this instruction video with best practice tips for building villages and towns with the Retro Pixel Kingdoms Asset Pack. Keep in mind that this suggested workflow will vary in usability depending on the setup of your project. Try your way towards whatever works best for you. Throughout this video, we'll be looking at how the Desert Village demo level is built up. We'll be tackling layer by layer. Hopefully, this will give you an idea of how to make towns and villages with depth and variety. For this setup to work, it's important that you follow the suggested transparency sort mode and sort axis, as well as the suggested sorting layers to use for the different tile map layers. It is also important that the sorting layers are sorted correctly. The reference order used in the demo levels is background, ground, wall, default, and then foreground. Let's get started. First and foremost, the level starts with a basic background layer. This is simply filled with a desert ground rule tile as a guide to the general size of the tile map overall. The sorting layer is set to, you guessed it, background. Next up is the walls layer. This contains the house walls, doors, and outer wall on the map sorted on the wall sorting layer. There's another few components added to this, namely the Tile Map Collider 2D component, the Rigid Body 2D, and the Composite Collider 2D. This works perfectly for the wall tiles layer as we don't want the player to be able to walk through any of the walls. The Used by Composite option is set to True as it generates a cleaner looking collider this is completely optional though, as you can just as well use only the Tilemap Collider 2D on its own. Next in order is the Windows and Signs layer, sorted on the wall sorting layer, with an order in layer value set to 1. You can find the order in layer variable in the Tilemap Renderer component. This layer describes itself very well. The windows and signs on the houses are featured here. The higher order in layer value makes the windows and signs appear on top of the house walls. Next up is the deco layer. Some of the decoration objects are on this layer. Fences, signposts, and the well are placed on this layer, which uses the default sorting layer. Using the sample layering and sorting setup, this will work well together with characters from, for instance, the Retro Pixel characters and Retro 2D characters packs. Your character will sort behind or in front of the object for an added illusion of depth. That is, provided you pay attention to an additional setting that we haven't touched upon before. To get the sorting correct, you'll need to set the mode of the Talmap Renderer component to Individual, as opposed to Chunk. As you might notice, this layer also uses the Talmap Collider 2D component. Most of the deco objects contain custom collision shapes. You might notice that this is far from all the decoration objects visible in the map. We'll get to that later. Roofs is the last layer in the grid group. The roof tiles are painted on this layer, which uses the foreground sorting layer. Using the suggested order of the sorting layers, this will make the player characters on the default layer able to walk behind the tiles on this layer. This also uses the combination of Talmap Collider 2D with a rigid body and Composite Collider 2D component. There's another thing to note on this layer though, and that is the offset in the Composite Collider 2D component. The Y offset is set to minus 1. This simply shifts the collider down one tile so that objects may move behind the tiles. Next up is a whole separate grid group. The half grid tile maps use a smaller cell size in the grid component. The cells are only half size, which makes placement of objects more varied and dense. A tile map grid with half sized cells is also necessary for the path's rule tile to appear correctly, so that's why it's used on this layer. Both the sand brick paths and some sand sandstone dirt patches are painted on this layer. 
This greatly enhances the sense of direction throughout the village and makes it feel more lived in. The ground sorting layer is used here. Now we have another deco layer. This contains most of the decoration objects. Barrels, pots, boxes and more are on this layer. As mentioned before, using a halved cell size makes it possible to place more objects closer to one another. This also uses the default sorting layer and a tilemap collider 2D component. Let's really add some visual depth to the scene. The shadows layer uses the new light and shadow half tiles. With these tiles, it's possible to paint fairly detailed shadow and light shapes, while still staying true to that retro aesthetic. You're very encouraged to play around with how you paint these layers. It's a lot of fun and adds a lot to the map. This layer is sorted on the ground sorting layer, with an order in layer of 1, so that it renders on top of the ground and paths. Keep in mind to also give the tile map component a dark, transparent color that suits the scene. Last in order is the Shadows Foreground layer. This is simply another shadow layer, but sorted on the foreground sorting layer, allowing us to paint shadow shapes on top of the roof tiles. Here too, the order and layer is set to 1, so that the shadows render on top. There's just one more thing to mention, and that is using the light and shadow half tiles to paint highlights, light shafts and the like. For this example, let's take a look at the house interior sample scene instead. More specifically, take a look at the two light layers in the half grid group. To get that soft, bright light, you need to ensure two things. Number one, use a bright, preferably warm color with a slight transparency in the tile map component. Number two, assign the included RPK sprite light material in the material tab of the tile map render component. That's it. All that remains is to paint away and experiment with those light shapes. And that's all there is to it. This is only one possible way to set up your homey towns and villages. If you combine RetroPixel Kingdoms with the RetroPixel Landscapes pack, you can use the tile sets from landscapes to paint trees, hills, flowers, bushes and so on. I hope that this video has helped you get started on building your beautiful kingdoms.